What's up, Jacob here. Today, I'm gonna be talking about Shimano versus Daiwa. Now, I say versus because that's just what makes the most sense, but to be completely upfront, there's no clear winner to me personally. I really don't think you can go wrong with either brand depending on the reel, your budget, and what you wanna be fishing for. So I'm just gonna simply talk about my personal experience using all the different Shimano and Daiwa reels that I've used. <laughs> now, I have pretty bad ADHD, so to make it easier on me and for easier for you to understand, to really collect my thoughts, I'm just gonna go through each reel that I have used and explain the things I've liked and disliked and sort of take the Daiwa counterparts or Shimano counterparts to those reels and explain why I would go with one over the other based on the situations. Now all of this is a personal opinion. This is just my personal experience using these reels. I'm not really going to get into the technical side because I'm not super educated on that. This is all just based off using these reels fishing and what my experiences with them. Now, starting with the big side, this is a Saragossa 6000. Now, this has honestly been the longest lasting reel I have ever owned. These things are built insanely well. They are insanely smooth, they feel great, and I have never had an issue with this reel at all. Now, I'll get into this more later, but my biggest issue with Shimano is their line roller bearing that they have right here. And on my other reels, those have like always gone out in all Shimano that I've owned. And in this Saragossa, I've never had an issue with that. Now this is a 4000, but I have used a 5000 BG, which is close enough to the Saragossa 6000. And at the price point of this, you can get two of these for the price of these and still have some change left over. These come in around $100. This is around 250 260 Now you can tell when using the Shimano Saragossa over the BG, this is a lot smoother feels better and as far as durability the bg has proven itself to be an equal with the saragossa as far as longevity and durability now with the price point you pay for you can feel that the saragossa is a lot smoother i like how it's built a little bit better and some people might disagree but i like the look of it a little bit better too now when it comes to buying a setup i don't think you should buy a reel unless you are going to spend that much money on the rod as well so if your budget is only like 200 to 250 dollars I wouldn't buy a Saragossa because then you're not gonna have money to pair it with a nice rod. If you get the BG, you have enough money left over to pair it with a solid rod that kind of matches the reel you paid for. I really don't think you can go wrong with either one. It just depends on your budget and your situation. I have noticed that the BG can hold more line, so if you need more line, I would maybe go with the BG. If you just want something that feels really smooth and feels great, spend extra money for the Saragossa. If you're just a casual fisherman that's not gonna be fishing all the time, don't spend the extra money for the Saragossa, just go ahead and get the BG so you can save some money and you still get a really quality reel. Now going to my 3000s, I have a Shimano Vanford, a Shimano Stratic, and a Shimano Nasi. The cheapest being the Nasi, and the Stratic and the Vanford being about the same price range. Now my experience with the Stratic, this is the first reel that I really ever bought. And as you can tell, this thing is still pretty dang silky smooth. Now, like I explained earlier, the line roller bearing has gone out on me twice. Now, that's a really cheap fix, so it's not anything to sort of take this out of contention for wanting to get one, but it is a bummer when it happens because it's really loud and then you have to go buy them and fix it. What I do personally, if I do end up going with a Stratic, a Vanford, a Nasi, or any of those reels, especially if you're fishing a ton because if you're just putting these reels through a lot of work, some things are just gonna get a little bit damaged. I go ahead and buy some to have on me so when it does go out, I'm able to fix it right away. I don't have to wait. Now, the first reel I tried in another brand was this Daiwa Fuego to sort of just try a different brand. And the initial experience with this was it was an amazing reel. It was really smooth. It was pretty light, which is what I liked. And it seemed pretty durable. Um, I did drop this thing in the salt water twice and it held up pretty good But then it started to get not as smooth You can tell it kind of slows down when reeling and it had this actually click that I went in and just maintenance the reel myself and was able to get it working again But this reel did break on me now one thing is I use my reels off So if you don't use your reels as much, it's not gonna matter This honestly was an amazing reel when it was working. It felt great. The drag was awesome. It was lightweight and If you're only looking to spend like $90, I can still recommend this reel because I really enjoyed it now once again the Vanford is sort of my comparison to that Fuego and other than the line roller bearing, this has been my favorite reel I've ever owned. It is super lightweight. 
It is silky smooth, it feels amazing. And if it wasn't for those line rollers, I probably wouldn't even ever attempt to use any other reel trying to explore. I would literally only buy these things. The drag is amazing. I've caught 40 plus inch inshore like snook on this reel and it has handled them amazing. It is stand up the test of time. I've dropped this thing in water twice and nothing has broken but those line rollers, which is very impressive. As far as the Shimano Stratic compared to the Vanford, personally, I don't have much of a preference between the two. This one's a little heavier, this one's a little lighter, which assuming that means that this is just built a little bit tougher. As far as smoothness and just how they feel, they both feel amazing. And if you want a lighter one, I would go with the Vanford. If you want one that's probably built a little bit tougher, I would just go with the Stratic. They're in the same ballpark as in terms of price. Now, if you want something close to those two that is in the $90 range and still want to be Shimano, I'd recommend the Nasi. This is my first one and it is the new one and I haven't used it a ton, but it is super smooth. It doesn't feel as buttery as the Stratic does, but it still feels pretty dang good. It just feels like there's a little more work you have to do to get that thing rotating. As with the Stratic, it just feels super flawless and just super smooth. As far as build quality, my brother has had his Nasi, Nasi, however you wanna say it, for years and his is bulletproof. So I don't think you can go wrong if you're looking to spend about $90 on this reel. And honestly, the new ones look really clean now my favorite reel honestly i think i like this thing even more than the stratic even though it's heavier this thing just feels so good so smooth i've never had an issue with it at all it seems like it is built insanely well and it's probably the best looking reel in my opinion you can get on the market the saltist mq is my go-to setup that i have now it is the most expensive setup that i have spent and I definitely think the money was worth it. If you have about 550-ish dollars to spend, this thing paired with this Star Rod VPR is the cleanest looking, best setup that I've ever owned and I absolutely love it. As far as buying 4,000, 5,000, and 3,000 sized reels, this is gonna be my go-to reel for a while until I maybe have a differing opinion or something happens. Now where I think that the best scenario for a Shimano Vanford is, is this 1000 that I have. This thing is literally as light as a feather and I've caught decent fish on it. This thing is silky smooth, it feels so good. It handles solid sized fish and it is, I think, the best option if you're going with a small, little tiny setup. Now, I really don't have a preference for Shimano over Daiwa. I really think it's all personal preference at the end of the day. And depending on your situation, I really don't think you can go wrong with any of the reels I've even shown today. I think they're all great reels, and I think just depending on your situation and what you want to do, you can really do well with any of them. As far as my favorite reels and the ones that I throw the most often, the Saltist MQ is usually the first one I pick up, where the second option is my Shimano Vanford 3000. These are my two favorite reels that I've ever owned, and as long as these things are working, I will be throwing them, and they're always the first ones I pick up. As far as which brand is better, I feel like if you asked a community, you'd probably have an overwhelming percent say that Shimano is better than Daiwa. And the product speaks for itself. I do think Shimano is an amazing brand. They've produced a ton of amazing reels, but I don't think Daiwa gets the love that it deserves. I think Daiwa is doing a lot of great things. They've recently switched over to a sizing that makes more sense, that fits the other reel, reels that are out there. And I think a lot of their new stuff is starting to really compete with Shimano. At the end of the day, look at your budget, look at what you're gonna be fishing for. Make sure you have enough money to get a rod and a reel of the similar price, and just make your decision based off those. Like I said, I really don't think you can go wrong with choosing Daiwa or Shimano. I really think the best test of if a reel is good or not is just simply using it. You can sit there and talk specs all you want, but at the end of the day, going out there and actually using that reel is the only way you're going to know whether you like it or not. Now, if you're going to be doing inshore fishing and you only have about $200 to spend on your setup and you want to spend about $100 on your reel, I would go with the Nasi or a BG. Personally, I would probably go with a Nasi over the BG in that situation, just because the smoothness. And I really don't think the BG is made for that type of fishing. I think where the BG excels is sort of surf fishing. I think this is like the go-to reel for surf fishing and it's bigger sizes. If you have about 400 to $450 and you wanna spend 200 to $250 on your reel, I would 100% recommend the Vanford or the MQ. Now. Where I would go the Vanford over the MQ is if you want something lightweight with just a slight bit more smoothness. 
Now, if you want something that just seems like it's built like a freaking tank and can just handle all sorts of things, I would go with the Saltist MQ. If looks matter to you, I think both these look pretty sick, but I think the Saltist MQ takes the cake there, which isn't that big of a deal, but to some people, looks matter. And I'm not gonna lie and say they don't matter a little bit to me as well. Now, whether I'd get a Vanford or a Stratic, honestly, if I'm ever buying a reel of this price range and I wanna go Shimano, I'm probably just gonna get the Vanford over the Stratic, just my personal opinion. As far as the Fuego goes, my comparison is to the Nasi, and I would always get the Nasi over the Fuego just because the Nasi feels better, it seems like it's built stronger, and I just really enjoyed it. If you want something a little bit lighter, uh, you can get the Nasi. It was a great reel for how long it lasted. Um, it's definitely lighter than the Nasi, and this is a 4,000 compared to a 3,000, and it still feels lighter. And I don't think you can go wrong with either one, but I think the Nasi will outlast the Fuego based on my personal experience with them. Now, that is all I got with my personal experience with these reels. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. I am not a real connoisseur by any means. I don't know all the technical specs of these things. I just know based on my personal use using these. You may disagree with some of the opinions I said today, and that's completely okay. I'm not wrong, you're not wrong. Sometimes different things happen to different people and some reels might just end up being better for someone else. I hope you learned something today, maybe helped you figure out what reel you wanna buy. If you need any more help, I'm sure you can look in the comments down below, see if some people have asked questions that maybe you want answered or if you just wanna to talk to people about their personal experience with reels as well. I'm gonna put some links down below to some of these reels that I find if you wanna go check them out. Now they are linked through my Amazon, which I do get money, so that is why I'm linking them. You don't have to buy them. Obviously this is not a sponsor, but if you do, completely transparent, I do get, I don't know what the percent is, I think it might be 10%, but me personally, and I'm saying this where if you did go buy them through Amazon, I would get money. I would buy them from your local tackle shop just because in my experience, buying reels off Amazon or from Bass Pro, a lot of times people return those reels and they'll literally just put them right back on the shelf. If you go buy them from your local tackle shop, usually they take a lot better care of their reels and I would personally buy them from a local tackle shop and you're supporting local business. I'm more so just putting the links down there so you can go and do your research. If you do happen to buy them, thank you for supporting me, I appreciate it, but no pressure there at all. Appreciate you watching the video, hope you learned something. Hope you get the reel you're looking for, get out there and catch some fish and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.